Hi everyone, my name is Vince Gelman, and I'm really excited to talk to you about the medicine and the message of the great spirit of the whale, of these magnificent beings that um, give us much more, that contribute much more to Mother Earth and our evolution than we can possibly imagine. Uh, I'm really excited to share that with you in this video and to also invite you to my ceremony, which is on Wednesday, May 18th at 3 p.m. Pacific on Zoom. And it's called Ancient Whale Songs, Healing and Activation. And in that ceremony, you are receiving a direct transmission from the oversoul of whales. You're getting a direct transmission from them. And that transmission is there to help heal and to help heal any blocks that you may have in you that may be keeping you from trusting and opening up to your heart song. Um, yeah, and it's there to empower you to sing it, to express it, you know, and song really, heart song is really a metaphor for your purpose, your creative gifts. Um, it could also be symbolic of you expressing your voice, expressing your truth, sharing uh, who you are authentically in the world, unleashing your creativity, unleashing your inner child in the world unapologetically. And so whale medicine is super powerful for that because they, you know, they do so much incredible work on our planet, transformative work on our planet through their heart songs, through their heart songs. So scientific minds and academic minds limit those beautiful haunting songs. If you've ever listened to them on YouTube, and I encourage you to, um, you just have to type in um, humpback whale or blue whale songs or sounds and just close your eyes and listen to that music. But scientific minds, academic minds have reduced those sounds and those songs to communication and courtship, communication and courtship. And yet those songs do so much more than we can imagine. You know, all spirit animals do, all spirit man animals have so much more to teach us and so much more medicine than we can possibly know. I mean, <laughs> how many people going back in time believe that animals don't feel? I mean, we, we went for a long time believing that, uh, I'm just going to adjust this, we went for a long time thinking that babies don't feel, babies don't feel pain, right? It's true. <laughs> we thought that babies did not feel pain. Um, so we've been quite numb in many ways to our feeling centers, our intuitive centers, and... Um, and we're waking up now to realize how sentient all animals are, whether it's an elephant or a spider or a crocodile or a whale. And so these, these whales, whales have such, um, they have such a gift for us. So one of the things to understand about whales is that when they're singing, they're singing ancient songs. They're, they are transmitting ancient songs frequencies in their songs. These are old, this is old music. This is old, old music. I mean, if you look into the eye of a whale, I'd say eyes, but you, generally you're gonna look into one eye at a time because whales are so big. So when you look into the eye, and I encourage you to go online and Google whale eye, and just look into that eye. And what you're looking at is eldership. You're looking at an elder. So whales, um, and I really feel that strongly, particularly with humpback and blue whales. They're the elders of the deep. They're the elders of the deep ocean. And they um, carry, anchor so much ancient wisdom. I'm talking wisdom from the cosmos. Cosmos with a K. You know, cosmos with a C actually means the cosmos that we can... Uh, we can see the planets, the stars, you know, we can, we can see that, we can see starlight. Um, but K is actually more the um, spiritual plane, it's the higher dimensions, it's the invisible planes, that's the cosmos with a K. 
So they are, they are very connected to the ancients. They are very connected, they're connected to the ancient frequencies, the ancient wisdom of that K cosmos. And like the snake and like the octopus, their animal friends, they anchor, anchor, anchor those old, old, old frequencies, that old wisdom on the earth. So look into their eye, really look into their eye and what you see is eldership, you see ancient. You know, even if you see a, a young whale, you still see that ancient in their eye. Like it's really profound. So they're the elders of the deep. They're the elders of the deep. And one of the gifts of communing with this great spirit of the whale, which is what, you, what you'll do in this ceremony if you come, is you're communing with true eldership. And, and how much are we missing that in the Western world? We, we've lost touch with the tradition of having an elder in our community, an elder who plays a really big part in passing along wisdom, an elder who plays a really big part in raising children, an elder who holds the frequencies of wisdom, who anchors the old into the tribe, into the community. We've lost touch with the elder, the spirit of the elder. They, we don't, they're not playing that role in Western culture. And that's not only, that's a huge loss to the elder because that's the elder's joy, that's the elder's purpose. But it's a big loss to our communities as well because when we don't have that eldership, we don't have the influence of the elder, elders on children and in transmitting these old stories and this old wisdom, it's a huge loss. It's a huge loss. And so one of the reasons why we are quite spiritually immature in the West, as opposed to say many indigenous cultures, tribal societies where they honor their elder and the elder is a big part in the community, plays an incredibly important part in the community. Um, one of the reasons why we're so spiritually immature in our culture in the West is because elders are not playing that role. You know, in many ways we actually disrespect old people. Right. So when you commune with the, the ancient, the ancient um, frequencies and the wisdom, the ancient heartbeat of the spirit of the whale, you are communing with eldership. And that alone is good medicine. That alone is good medicine. So the other thing though is that with their songs, they are literally, when they sing their songs, when they're sounding, they are, they are literally coding, coding Mother Earth with these ancient, ancient, with the ancient wisdom templates. So they are coding the Earth with them. They're coding the uh, Mother Earth's Akashic Record Library so that people, when they're ready, can open to those libraries. Those libraries can be activated by light workers, and they can be open and made available in the collective field. And people can tap into that wisdom. So uh, Green Tara, the Ascended Master associated with, most associated with the Tibetan, the, the, uh, Tibetan Buddhist lineage, she's also done the same thing. She's also done the same thing. She's coded Mother Earth's Akashic um, field, Akashic record library with the crystalline codes, ascension codes of many star systems. So this is one of the really important gifts, purposes of the whale in their songs is that they bring these higher wisdom templates to Mother Earth they anchor these frequencies for those who are ready to tap into them. Just like Buddha anchored the wisdom frequencies and Jesus anchored the wisdom frequencies. And that the more we awaken and activate our light codes in our DNA, we're anchoring these frequencies. We are becoming frequency holders and transmitting this information and contributing to the grid of light, the Christ grid that I spoke about. Um, a few videos ago, 
we are we are altering the 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 spiritual ether the consciousness of the planet and um creating possibilities for people to open up to that consciousness to dial in and to have different kinds of downloads so whales really are huge in their songs in contributing to that um to the wisdom of the earth the wisdom of the earth you know bringing the ancients down bringing the ancients down so that is that is a role of an elder that is a role of that uh, that's that is the purpose of the spirit of the elders to hold those old frequencies and so they do that and so by merging with the whale in the ceremony by having a direct transmission from them you are opening up to the ancients to the ancient frequencies you're having a direct transmission and that's you know what an honor that is it's an obviously a huge honor for me to be able to transmit the spirit of the whale and and to basically um, have its ancient whales songs be sung through me to you so essentially what's happening you could look at it this way is that in the ceremony the great spirit of the whale is singing its heart song directly to you to your heart and helping you to activate your own heart song and to clear to transmute to heal any blocks you may have to really opening to your own heart song and, and you know again that 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 heart song could be anything it could be you speaking your truth more it could be a creative project it could be starting a business really it's about you being true to you your own song your own heart truth is in the heart we say right so it's about coming home to the truth of who you are you know and so really by you knowing your heart song and singing your heart song we move more in unison and chorus with all the songs that are being sung from all the hearts in the world from all the sentient beings in the world we move more in unison when we sing our heart song together we we weave a fabric of um beautiful music together a symmetry of music together when we all start singing our heart song together and so this is about um singing more and more in unison um with the whales with your fellow humans and with other animal spirits coming together and um and letting your heart be known letting your heart be known and thus you be known together as one as one family of light and so this is my invitation to you in this real um yeah it's a, it's a real beautiful ceremony and it's a real sacred ceremony and uh um yeah i'm honored to invite you to it and um and if you want uh, information it's in the description and uh e like i said i think i said this if you cannot attend on zoom if you can't make the time you can still receive the healing and activation transmission you can still commune with the with the great spirit of the well um and you will receive a transmission just as powerfully as if you're live on zoom with us uh it's 77 canadian that's a 75 minute ceremony um and yeah all the information will be there so thank you so much for listening thank you for for taking the time out to be here with me please share this video please subscribe please um please like and uh and I'll see you when I see you next thank you